Hi, my name's Mary Wren and I live in Sheffield in the middle of England um, where I've been a doctor for many years now. I trained here in the 1980s and I've worked um, in general practice or as a family doctor um, for, for all those years. Um, and I wanted today to share a little bit about why I decided to do a website and uh, why I decided to call it Bird's Eye View. Um, so I've always been fascinated about health and about why we get ill and what the roots of illness are and what wellness or health or wholeness actually is. And right back to the start of my training, I was really aware that it wasn't just being a physical body. It wasn't just physical health that made us well. There were a whole load of other things that were um, feeding into that as well. And it's interesting that the World Health Organization define um, health as being a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being. It's not just the absence of, of an illness or disease. It's a state of well-being. And I would add to that spiritual well-being and probably economic and um, well-being as well. And it's a whole mixture of things that come together um, to enable us to be well. And over the years, um, through being a patient myself, through having children who were ill, um, through seeing thousands of patients over the years, I've learned so much about all the other things, as well as what I learned in my medical training, that contribute to our health and well-being. And I think I just felt that I wanted to start sharing some of those things in the hope that actually it will be useful for other people. Um, I have a real passion to see people whole and well and, and not just individual people, but to see it communities. And wouldn't it be amazing if we lived in cities or villages or towns where people were really, really well and and they were well in terms of their relationships and their social connections and people not being lonely and um, not being anxious and having um, looking out for each other as well as being physically well. Um, so all the things that I put on this website, I hope will contribute in some way to that conversation and, and be a bit of a journey for us to go on together to look at some of those things. I've also got a section called helpful links where um, I've put links to different things that I've been involved with over the, the past few years, um, particularly around um, keys to health and wholeness, um, looking at mental health as well, things like anxiety and how that how that contributes to our overall health and also some really practical things that we can look at in relation to that. So you might find that a helpful um, section to have a look at as well. Um, for for about three years um, in the early, well, probably from about 20, 2014 to 2017, um, I, I wrote some columns for our local newspaper, the Sheffield Star. Uh, they asked me to do a health column and um, I asked if I could do it slightly differently. I didn't want to just write about blood pressure and cholesterol and, and the things that often we talk about as, as, as doctors in the surgery um, in regards to, to health. I wanted to make it much broader than that. And, and they, um, I'm grateful that they allowed me to do that. So I wrote about things like loneliness and um, loving ourselves and um, grief and saying thank you to people and the difference that that can make, kindness and gratitude. And it was really interesting because a lot of the feedback I got from that from neighbours or from patients or um, people that I just bumped into was that actually they'd found that really helpful and um, they started to think about health and, and our culture of health and well-being in a slightly different way. So I think some of what I'm hoping to do in talking to you like this or just speaking like this is is to bring some of those ideas um, just across in a different format um, as a way that we can think through some of those things so that maybe we can really have healthy communities. We can be um, looking at our own well-being and, and look at things in a different way, maybe uh, uh, to how we've looked at them before. And then as we're healthy, that that can help us help other people be healthy and our communities can be healthy and we're all part of this our health service is part of this but but just as individuals and as families and as communities we're part of this as well it involves so much more than just the medical um, profession and all that goes with that 
Um, I wanted to call the website Bird's Eye View because um, one of the things that I love is, is, is stepping back. It's really easy to get stuck in our own mindsets, our, the way we've always looked at things, the way we've always thought about things. Um, but when we step back and we look at things from a different perspective, when we, we step go higher, if you like, it's a bit like going up a mountain and we look down. The view is completely different when we're actually down at the bottom and we're actually in it. When we're higher, everything's in a different frame and um, you have a different perspective. It's a bit like when you go to another country or when people from another country come to England, uh, to the UK, that that a lot of things take us by surprise because they're different to what we've always known. And yet in that culture, that's normal. Um, so stepping back from what we see as normal, what we see as expected, stepping higher and looking in a different way can often enable us to to figure out answers that we never even thought could be possible or um, solutions that are different to what we expected. Um, and that's why I called the website Bird's Eye View. So I'd love it if you come on a journey with me and I really hope that some of the things that we look at will be be helpful to you and feel free to share share those with other people if you think it would be helpful for them too. I'll see you again soon.